Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. It's not just a gas that, it, that if it displaces the oxygen in the room that you'll die because many gases are that way. This is actually a poisonous gas. Small amounts of it can be very hazardous. Now, one of the things that has always kind of frustrated, frustrated me about dealing with CO is the numbers we get from our government. They tell us time weighted averages, uh, exposure for eight hours, and, and on like that. That is not really helpful to what we need to know. We need to know how much CO is dangerous. All I can tell you is what I do. How much CO is dangerous? I'm going to tell a short story. The company I worked for, uh, boiler install, brand new install, gas fired, had a blocked vent damper. Service tech went out to look at it, could not get the thing to fire, found that the pressure switch was keeping it from firing. That was because of the blocked vent damper. He bypassed the pressure switch. Now, I bypass pressure switches too on occasion for different things. But in this case, things really got out of hand. And we can blame the service tech for doing it, but I wasn't there, so I can't say for sure. Okay, service tech starts working on this thing, bypasses the pressure switch, and within about two minutes, he had passed out. Fortunately, the owner was nearby and drug him out of there. The concentration of carbon monoxide in that room was 4,500 plus. That's as high as the the CO detector would go was 4,500 parts per million and it pegged it. This was almost a half an hour after the uh, incident. So yeah, it can be really dangerous. Don't want to scare you to death, although that is kind of scary, but how much CO should be in the air in a house? Zero. That's how I do it. If I walk into a house and I take my CO detector, and some of them you don't have to do this with, but most of them you have to t uh, test it outside. Okay, so you calibrate it outside, and then you come in and you test. I would do that if I, if I had a customer that thought they had a problem, or for some reason I thought there was a problem. I would come into the house after setting the CO detector, come in and see if I got any reading at all. Okay, any reading at all, I gotta find it. If I got three parts per million, you really should not have that in a house. It really shouldn't be. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down to all the gas appliances. And I'll sniff around the appliances a little bit, you know, I'll look for draft hoods that maybe you're dumping, something like that. I'll be looking for that. Water heaters still have draft hoods on a lot of them. I'll be looking for those sort of things. But then I'm going to take and I'm going to put my probe into the ductwork. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start up the furnace. If it's a furnace I'm looking at and there's ductwork hooked up to it. I'm going to start the furnace and I want it on high fire. If it's a multiple fire unit, you want it on high fire. So you get it up to high fire, then you can take a probe, stick it in the supply after the fan comes on, and see if you have the same amount of CO in the duct as you have in the structure. Now that's gonna tell you quite a bit. Because if it's the same in the structure and the duct, you probably don't have a problem in the furnace. It's very doubtful. If you have an increased concentration in the duct, that's when I'm going to start worrying. Because that could mean a cracked heat exchanger on a gas appliance. Okay, now let's assume in the ductwork I had higher concentrations of CO. The next thing I'm going to do, because now I'm suspicious, I'm going to check the CO in the vent pipe. Here's my uh, furnace running and I have a uh, the CO detector in, I have to pump this old boy, 
but let's uh, let's go ahead and pump this and see what happens. Looks like I'm settling at about 12. That's well within uh, any kind of limits. Actually, I see a lot of them that I don't really like it at 100 parts per million, but I have seen them that high and still be operating pretty close. I'd like it lower than that. So what should it be? I guess I'd, I'd rather it was about that 10 or 11 or 12 what this one had, but oftentimes they're around 30. I'm antsy if it's over 100 by, you know, I gotta look pretty close then. But there's, there is gonna be carbon monoxide in your vent. It's never gonna be zero. So that's uh, testing carbon monoxide both in the ductwork and in the bed pipe.